Hello, this is an ocean. It gives us fish, electricity, sea cucumbers, sea tomatoes, sea potatoes, and seasonings like salt. We have five of them, as a matter of fact, but the deepest one has to be the Pacific Ocean. The ocean is also a great source of curiosity. In fact, we've sent more people into outer space than we have to the deepest part of the blue. Seems pretty unexplored, huh? So why don't we take a look-see? Mariana's Trench is, as far as we know, the deepest place on Earth, with a depth of around 10,994 meters, give or take another 40. To put that into perspective, Mount Everest is only 8,848 meters tall, and for those of you keeping track, that is about 8,848 meters times taller than a one meter ruler stick. Right, so what is it about this place that makes it notoriously difficult to explore? Well, for starters, for every 10 meters we go down, kilopascals increases by 100. That's a unit of measurement for pressure, by the way. Or, in other words, nobody wants to die. And as you can see, we have quite a lot of meters to go down. So what kind of equipment will let us get down there? A submarine, but not just any kind of submarine. It's gotta have powerful flashlights because starting at about 200 meters, things are gonna get really the opposite of bright. It's gotta be really resistant to pressure. It's gotta have a kitchen, two bed, two bath, spacious open concept living room, and of course a functional barometer. At any rate, let's get started. This is what we call the sunlight zone. It's estimated that around 90% of sea life lives here and about 100% of land life doesn't. Various different types of fish, predators, plastic bottles, no one likes you, and coral reef live here. You'll usually find coral a lot closer to the sunlight because aside from their photosynthetic nature, they're actually stationary, so they kind of have to be there. Even if they wanted to leave, they, they kind of couldn't. The amount of biodiversity here is crazy. Millions of different species call this place their home, including but not limited to different kinds of tuna, starfish, and the humuhumu nuku nuku apua'a, which is a real fish, as well as thousands of unique candy wrappers, which have found their way to the shallow seabeds. Cans from fizzy drinks or beers are also not uncommon. Right, so now we've entered the twilight zone. Less than 1% of sunlight from the surface even reaches this point and over half of everything we see down here hasn't been discovered yet. Oh look, there's a sea kiwi, right there. That's a new species if I've ever seen one, which I have just now, cause I just found a sea kiwi. It's also at this point that things start to get a little cool. The creatures down here are bioluminescent, which means that they use the chemicals glodium and brightium to make lightium, which is then used to power their biological lamps. I'm kidding, of course. This is the 21st century, so they use flashlights. But some of these animals can get very unique. These creatures look almost alien, don't they? And that's because they are. There's actually a giant portal on the seabed at this depth, and that's where they all come from. Before we enter this next zone, let's pretend that this black screen is your eyes closed. Okay, now let's open them. Surprise, it's still black. And that's because we're in the midnight zone. There is absolutely no sunlight here. In the interest of having at least something on the screen, I'll turn the flashlights to the submarine on. Yeah, so there's not really much down here. Wow, you thought there wasn't anything in the midnight zone, huh? Well, welcome to the abyssal zone, one of the most unexplored places on Earth. There are still a few creatures down here, most notably being the giant squid. Um, there are a lot of rocks. I guess there are tube worms. Um, those are kinda cool, kinda chilly. Yep. Here we are, the deepest part of the ocean, the Hadal Zone. This place is really, really deep. 
This place is so deep that I can't even find stock footage for it. This place is so deep that it likes to curl against a tree on the school campus and play acoustic guitar. To be completely honest with you, we don't know much about this area of the ocean. It's cold, it's desolate. As far as we know, there is extremely little biodiversity. Being down there would probably feel like being on a different planet. But hey, who knows, maybe you'll be the next great adventurer the world needs to learn more about this terrifying and fascinating thing we call the ocean. Or maybe you won't, it's really up to you in the end. Okay, bye. different kinds of tuna, starfish, and the humu, 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 oh my god, humu, humu, nuku, nuku, apua'a, okay, wait, humu, 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 nuku, nuku, um, um,